Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel where we do painting tutorials. I have taped down my sketchbook with some masking tape and I start by coloring the sky very loosely with some Dalo blue. I focus it mostly on the top of the page, that way it's more saturated on the top and less towards the bottom, making a very easy and simple gradient look. Then I activate with my brush going left to right, right to left, up and down a couple of times until it is smooth. I take a scrap piece of paper while the sky dries and I apply some of the same daily blue, a bit of orange, green and black. Then I add a tiny droplet of water and I mix this grayish brown blue yet green color it's just easier to show you this part right here i just want a very grayish green in order to paint some distant mountains i do one layer and once it has dried i add a bit more of the blue and the orange to make it slightly darker and i paint a second mountain right on top then again i mix yet a slightly darker tone by adding a bit of the black this time and once the second mountain has dried, I paint some very, very loose tree shapes with it. They're pretty much random blobs, but if you squint your eyes, they do look a bit like trees. While that dries, I take my yellow and I add some highlights, some random scribbles on the left side where I'm going to paint some trees. And I color the remaining part of the left side with some earthy green. Those are going to be some trees. Then I take daily blue and I add it on the left side of the yellow scribbles for some added shadows and I go with orange on top of the blue that way they neutralize each other and make a nice shadow again I get my brush dab it on some toilet paper to make it pretty much dry and then I tap on top of those scribbles I did I like to do the yellow ones first because if I were to do the blue first and I go to the yellow it would all just end up looking the same mute green tone thus I would not have highlights and shadows so yeah I just paint from light to dark to preserve my highlights and my shadows I go back to that scrap piece of paper and I mix the same dark tone. I'm scribbling it very randomly for some foliage that is going to be fur up in the distance and I do some tree trunks. They're not as dark as I want so I'm going to add a second layer later on to mute it down. Good thing about watercolor pencils, you can always do additional layers. Once it had dried, I mixed the same colors again and with very little water I paint the tree trunks. An easy way to add details and darker shades is to just use less water. Less water equals finer lines equals more saturated tones. And then I just paint the bottom. Then I move to the slopes and trees we are going to have on the right side. I just do a base with green. And I color the bombs with my Helio Blue Radish, which is my darkest blue, and some orange on top. Then I activate with my brush, again from light to dark, so from the green towards the blue. And I clean off whatever excess color I have left over on my brush on that piece of land right in the middle where all of the trees are. Then I color everything on the lake with my Taylor Blue, the same I used for the sky. And I outline all of the hills and slopes and whatnot with my dark blue for an added shadow. I go on top of the blue with some orange to neutralize it and make it darker. And I'm going to add some hints of green because we have a lot of greenery going on in the background. I'd like to reflect that onto the lake. And since those trees in the middle have dried I go for a second layer with my green, I just scribble it on top, that way I get a nice muted color. Since they're far up in the distance, they're not going to be as defined, they're going to look a bit misty and that is the look I'm going for. And then I also do some random scribbles on the right side, just like with it for the left one, I'm just adding some more trees to frame this entire picture. And I do their shadows on the bottom and on the right side with some dark blue and orange. Then I take my brush and I start mixing left to right, right to left. It's perfectly fine if this does not look smooth, if you have some darker bits and some white bits of the paper peeking through. This is going to be very useful for mimicking that water effect. 
Then I clean my brush and I just tap on those green bits I did on the right side to activate them and make them a bit more saturated. And while it dries, I take my walnut brown, that is my darkest brown, and I color the tree trunks on the left side since that one has already dried. Then I do the same exact steps on the left side, just connecting all of those blobs to each other. And I go on top with a bit of black, especially towards the bottom, that is where it is the darkest since all of the leaves are casting their shadows on the very bottom of the tree trunk. And if drawing is not your thing, there is going to be a traceable available on my Patreon page, Sunshine Arts. We also do full-time painting tutorials there, so if you'd like to first support me and the channel and check all of that out, there will be links down below with all of the supplies, like usual. Now back to us, I just add some finishing details to my trees. I go over some of the tiny branches on the top of the trees with my black. And I keep on adding a bit more color to those uh, trees I have in the center. Notice that I had not activated the little bit of green I did before. So I'm just building up the color because I don't really want to do any more layers to this. I'm just doing some green and adding some blue on the bottom for shadows. Orange on top of the blue. And then very lightly tap on top of it just to give that smidge of green, that undertone, that additional hue that is going to help balance this painting out. Lastly, I untape my painting and I realized I forgot that little piece of land right in the center. So I quickly go on top of it with some green and some blue for the shadows and then I activate it. And that is it. I'd like to give a very special thank you to my Patreon supporters for the month of October. And thank you all for watching. We'll see each other in the next video. Bye bye.